Hello everyone, Mr. Lipchick here, and our topic for discussion today is uh, the illness of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a debilitating disease that affects more than 2 million Americans. It refers to a group of psychotic disorders with the following symptoms. Delusions, uh, which are misinterpretations of reality. Hallucinations, uh, seeing things or hearing things, or even smelling things. Illogical thoughts, and a general break with reality. Different forms of schizophrenia have distinct patterns of these symptoms. Historically and unfortunately, schizophrenics have been regarded as dangerous. They were locked up in insane asylums in order to keep them away from the public. They're basically warehoused for many years and treatment um, was ineffective and minimal. Symptoms of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia affects the, affects the sexes equally, but men tend to show symptoms earlier in their late teens and early 20s, while women show symptoms later in their late 20s or early 30s. Symptoms can be organized into three categories, positive, negative, and disorganized. Positive symptoms are behaviors that should not be present in an individual but are. These include delusions and hallucinations. For example, hearing voices, believing that they are being watched, and believing somebody is reading their mind. Negative symptoms are behaviors that should be present in an individual like sociability and emotion, but are not. Marked by social avoidance and emotional withdrawal withdrawal rather uh, so people you know basically avoid social contact disorganized symptoms include the confused thinking and speech of a person to the point of incomprehensibility such as disorganized behavior and flat affect and a lack of emotion Types of schizophrenia. Paranoid schizophrenia is when a person is very suspicious of others. This is different from per paranoid personality. Uh, this is a, a form of schizophrenia. Often they feel that they are at the core of an elaborate plot. For example, government agents are chasing them. Disorganized or hebraphenic schizophrenia uh, occurs when a patient is incoherent but usually not hallucinatory. Now, the person cannot produce appropriate emotions in, for a given situation and they have difficulty feeling pleasure. And often they will exhibit strange or silly behavior. Catatonic schizophrenia uh, occurs with individuals who are extremely withdrawn, negative, and isolated. Uh, they may exhibit disruptions in their motor skills. And they may stay in contorted positions as if they are frozen. They may stay in these positions for hours on end. And there is residual schizophrenia. Uh, and this is with people who have suffered delusions or hallucinations, but are currently not experiencing them. 
Uh, often they lack motivation in their day-to-day -day lives. They can experience mood swings and antisocial behavior. Schizoaffective disorder. Um, a patient who suffers from schizophrenia in addition to other mood disorders such as depression or bipolar disorder. Uh, false beliefs in superiority are common with these people. They might believe that they are uh, the savior of the planet or something. And this is characterized by restlessness and frenzied speech. Undifferentiated schizophrenics, uh, these individuals may suffer the symptoms of schizophrenia, but their symptoms do not conform to any other categories of the disease. Causes of schizophrenia. It's now known that schizophrenia is caused by biological issues in the brain. And the causation of schizophrenia or etiology, uh, basically the, the definite cause isn't known for sure but it is known that it, it involves brain chemistry. Um, it is known to run in families. Uh, there is a genetic component that uh, causes it to occur. It is linked to an imbalance in neurotransmitters in the brain, those parts of the, uh, those chemicals in the brain that carry messages to other parts. Current research is focused on an imbalance of the transmitter, neurotransmitter dopamine. And most prescribed medications for the treatment of schizophrenia hinder dopamine, produ dopamine production. Too much dopamine in the system uh, has something to do with this. That concludes our discussion on schizophrenia. Thank you for attending and I look forward to seeing you in the live lesson. Have a nice day.